It is a flyweight championship fight between Demetrius Johnson and John Dodson. So here he is, the number one flyweight contender, looking to change that title here in 25 minutes or fewer and lead as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. What a run of contention it has been for this young man. He has put together a long winning streak. He's got the finishes to make the fans happy. He's done everything to position himself for this type of championship opportunity. Now, under the lights, we'll see what he can do it. So here we go with this UFC Flyweight Championship fight, and there is the man out of the red corner, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, making his way to the octagon. He's defended this belt before. This is not new territory for this young man who believes that the rest are just the rest. He believes he is the best at 125 pounds and looking to prove just that here tonight. Let's get you the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Johnson is 31. Dodson is 35. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC flyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 12 losses. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John the Magician Dotson. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves with my best friend. Ready. started here round one is underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc left hand punch the clip johnson gets absolutely punished by that head kick trying to go to the body here 
unable to find the target. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. I mean, he's cut him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Just misses with the left hook. Johnson gets hit with a kick. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job driving right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Dodson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Way to hide that leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Dodson gets hit with a kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ooh, big shot to the body. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Leg kick, that one checked. Great time. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say if try, try again? If, if at first you don't succeed, you try. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. My triangle, my triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has... Getting tighter. Somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, Post your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use your... A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up.
All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready. Round two on the way. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Johnson going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Look at the angle of that knife fight. And they set. Nice hook. Defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at the turtle in that kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Ooh, that knee, big that knee. knee hurt him. Try to establish that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch landing in the middle. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, looks like he caught the kick. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, wow. Position for the opponent now here in round two. 
and now he's got that tight clinch. Effective punch there by Johnson. Oh, there's a takedown attempt, unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Stuff the takedown, no problem. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Circling to his right. Nice leg kick land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Defensively. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Johnson. Just over three minutes to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Dodson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Johnson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick land. Nice punch by Johnson. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's poured blood, you continue to attack. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
Nice job at least staying upright on that. Good one. And he landed the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands the right hand. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do with it. Time is perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, no that is how you scramble, folks. the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Johnson. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura here. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! He has to turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Oh, oh there's a tap. He got the finish. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fight. And I don't care how your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy when people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good floor, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So the celebration is on for the UFC flyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out.
So how about that effort out of the undisputed UFC flyweight champion? He defends the belt successfully by way of submission here tonight. And what a moment there in the corner as they celebrate this latest victory. It is going to take a monumental...